2021 was looking like a blackjack year for Direwolves in FIFA with our ace Dylan and JMK King in our hand, heading onto the pitch for the FIFA 21 FGS series. Dylan started out strong in the Oceania qualifier, netting a second place finish against Marcus Gomez. Moving on to the FIFA E Club World Cup where it would see Dylan and JMK King represent the Dire Wolves in a 2v2 club format against Footwiz, Melbourne City FC and Atlantide Wave. The boys dug deep and came out in second place during the group stage to land themselves in the finals against Atlantide Wave. It's going to be a fascinating series of events that are about to unfold and I cannot wait. Long ball forwards, a risky one, will go into the feet of Mane. This would certainly put the die to bed. Charles Mane into Ronaldo! And you may as well call them champions now. It's 0-1. And you can see what it means to them both. From the defenders, dinked across to Cristiano Ronaldo, and that was the goal that sealed the tie. I think they knew it as well. You saw the output of emotion. Come on, Bill! And his teammate. Not once, but twice, he said. Dylan and JMK came up huge in the finals, winning 3 to 1 and taking home the Oceania FIFA E Club title for 2021. Moving on to FGS qualifier number 3, Dylan took the trophy with a win over Naylor that went to a penalty shoot, winning 6 to 5 and qualifying for the Oceania playoffs. Oceania qualifier number 2 was not his, but number 3 is all about the young man from Sydney, Australia. At the second attempt, through a grand final reset, he cannot believe it, but Dire Wolves Dylan is your king. The crown is his. Moving into the Oceania playoffs, Dylan made his way through the quarterfinals against Marco to face off against Mark 11 in the semi-finals and only just fell short, losing 6-7, dropping down in the losers round two to battle against Marcus Gomez. Well, they had the most ridiculous penalty shooter back in February, if you remember rightly, Rich. Up steps Vieira now for Dylan will score. Has to score to stay in the tie. Up step Pele saved! And Dylan will move into the next stage of the loser bracket. Moving through the rest of the loser's bracket, Dylan managed to navigate his way all the way to the Grand Finals to face off against Naylor after intense Grand final series where Dylan had to make the comeback from the loser's side of Grand Finals and win two games back to back. This was no different. Back post cross, we climb, G, G, that wraps it up at that point, he's celebrating. And the legend did it winning game one 5-2 to two, and game two 6-1 to one, to take home the win and the chance to represent Oceania in the FIFA E World Cup 2021. You would have seen like at the end I was just still focused even when he was passing around the back because I just didn't know how to react. Like a full year of grinding friendlies, like looking back at gameplay, um, like all those late nights, uh, just to finally see the reward come out of that it's just it's unbelievable unfortunately due to covid and the global situation ea had to cancel the event in 2021 leaving the question what if it's an unfortunate situation but it is what it is Dylan moved on in his career, leaving Dire Wolves, which left us with some spots to fill. The Wolfpack welcomed two new FIFA players to its FIFA roster in the form of Mark 11 and Mike J, who will be wearing the Dire Wolves jerseys in 2022 alongside JMK King and MV. After such a successful year in FIFA, Dire Wolves would like to thank you for the ongoing support and we look forward to 2022 and what the boys can achieve on the pitch.